Hi, and welcome to Drupal eLearn, where you learn the basics of Drupal Plus with Kevin Duggan. And now, here's the show. So we're going to install Drupal Stack. And what the Drupal Stack is, is they call it a stack because it's layers. Um, it's the top two layers are basically the layers that are responsible for what you see, the CSS and XHTML. Uh, the third layer is PHP. And what that does is that communicates between the top layers. Say you had an input where you wanted to, it says, what's your name? I say Kevin or whatever, and I hit enter. Well, PHP, that's your visual layer, these two. PHP sends that uh, answer down into the database to be saved and stored, uh, stored for a later time when maybe somewhere further up in the, uh, w in the website, you come to a part and it says, hello, Kevin, because it knows from the database. That's a really simple, uh, you know, explanation of a database. A database can do a lot more than that. But uh, and especially in terms of interactivity, you know, with a, uh, um, you know, setting up things like, uh, like a shopping cart or financial transactions or some type of dy dynamic, you know, aspects to your website. But what, what this Drupal stack does on your computer, if you're thinking later that I'm going to, I'm going to build the website on my computer. Then I'm going to, you know, after it's been perfected or 95% perfected, you know, I'm going to transfer this to my, to a hosting company so it can be on the internet rather than just on my computer. You know, I'm going to transfer it to GoDaddy or I'm going to transfer it to DreamHost.com, some big company somewhere where their job is to host websites. You know, you buy, you probably pay monthly or for a certain amount of web space, maybe who knows how many megabytes, but it, it's set up for you to host your website. That's what their job is. Well, what you do, what happens is with this Drupal is you've installed this stack on your computer and you've created your website. So it's almost like, to me, almost like a, uh, a cocoon and a butterfly. So when you finish doing your website, on your computer using the Drupal stack, some of the things that have to do with the database are already on the hosting company's website. So you're not going to need them. So what you're going to do is you're going to take and save a few things, uh, one being export the, the database, and another thing being uh, the Drupal folder itself and you're going to leave everything else behind. So almost like the cocoon and a butterfly, uh, you know, you're going to leave things behind and send a couple of the uh, vital components to your hosting company and set the website up to be active and live and everything. Okay, so what, what you're going to do is go to Google, do a search for uh, Acquia, try and, and find the stack, the, the Acquia stack for Drupal. Uh, okay. Then uh, click it, go to the site, find your, find your, the, the download you want for your computer. Mine is a Mac and download. Okay, so you have the, uh, the Acquia stack downloaded. Uh, op uh, I'm on a Mac, open, and put in my password. So next is showing the list of everything. I accept uh, this and accept terms of license agreement. Here's the, the defaults you know, uh, places where your files are going to be put, the default uh, ports it's going to use. Here's your name and your password, and it's really important to 
remember whatever you put in here, uh, your password. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to find, you're not going to be able to get into your website, which isn't going to be uh, a great thing. And your email uh, you put in. So then hit next. So here it's all done. Uh, hit the finish button. Type in the password. Hitting go to my, once this stops, uh, go to my site. And your Drupal 6 site is going to set, set up here. Uh, you just have to add in your username and password, and you'll be logged in as the root user. So I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, install the Drupal 7 folder. So first, I'm going back to Google, typing in uh, Drupal 7 Alpha download, I'm finding it here. Down here is the, uh, here we are with the page. I'm scrolling down the bottom to find the, uh, the file to download. Here it is. And I'm going to unzip this. And put it in my sites folder. Get those pages out of the way. Unzipping it. Going into Kevin Duggan sites. And this is where I'm going to place the new Drupal 7 folder. So now what I'm going to do is go to the, back to the control panel, go to settings, Go to Sites, find the, the, the Drupal 7 folder that I just um, installed, which is under Kevin Duggan, which is me, Sites, and here it is, folder, uh, create a new database, give it a name. Uh, but you can name it anything you want. Uh, also, subdomain. And import. Press import. OK. So now, here is the new Drupal 7 website. Save and continue. English is uh, the uh, default language. So now we're initializing. It's installing modules. Module. And here we are. Site name. I'm going to give it Kevin Duggan. No, just Kevin. Uh, site email address, same as before. And a password. Again, make sure the passwords are, are correct, otherwise, you'll be in big trouble that you remember them or you won't be able to get into your website. So here it is. Visit your new site. So here's Drupal 7. And it has 
a different, uh, a nice dashboard, different than uh, Drupal 6. So, next we'll be uh, adding content and themes. Any questions or comments about this program can be sent to Kevin at DrupalELearn.info.